Craig said, now we have all this furniture. We need a new catalog. Herman Miller, at that point, had a catalog left over from the period before, really a mail order catalog, which was done in about the style of the 20s, I would say, badly reproduced pictures, and it was all done on cream-colored paper. So we made this layout and got Ezra Stoller, who was then the number one architectural photographer. And Ezra took a whole series of very nice pictures. We went out and got prices on it, and it came out to roughly 30,000 bucks for 10,000 copies. And DJ got very upset, and he said, George, you know us by now. We don't have $30,000. And uh, he said, why are you doing this to us? He said, it's incredibly beautiful, of course. He said, I want you to redo it and make it affordable. So we went back to work, and uh, when they came back, there was the same catalog. We hadn't changed the layout or the paper specs or the photograph, except now it had a hard cover, and it had a jacket. And on the front of the jacket, there was a nice sort of abstract design that Irving Harper had done and on the back of the catalog was a list of all the museums that were having exhibits of Herman Miller's furniture and on the flyleaf it said three dollars and he said but this costs more I said look at the inside of the cover he looked and he saw the three dollars and with infinite pity I can still see he said George nobody in the furniture industry sells their catalogs. We saw, I thought you knew this. And I said, yes, I do know that. But uh, there always can be a first time, you know. Well, again, this beautiful thing about DJ came into play. He added it all up and he took a deep breath, you know, and he said, okay, we'll do it. Well, in the following year, I think the only thing they made any money on, if you could call it making money, was the catalog. catalog. They had to print a second edition, you know, and it was wonderful. Then, of course, I looked around at the industry and waited with bated breath. And the company I was looking at mainly was Knoll because that was our chief competitor. So about six, seven months after we were out, out came the Knoll catalog, and it said $5. <laughs> at this point, I knew we were in.